interesting question. Uh, we have a cylinder which is over here is inscribed inside a cone which is over here and the radius of the cone is 3. It means that this value is given as 3 and the height is given as 8 inches of the cone. So this complete length is 8 inches. So this is 8 inches. So we have to express the volume V of the cylinder in terms of the height of the cylinder. So uh, pay attention over here. This is the this is the radius of the cylinder. Let's call it R, and this is the height of the cylinder. Let's call it H. Uh, let me mark some points. This is zero. This is O. This is A. This is B. This is C. This is D. And let me just make this O A C O A B C D figure separately so this is how it looks like uh this is over here this is o this is a this is b this is c and this is d uh, now we are given that this value this uh, this this ac is r bd is 3 uh ob is anyway 8 and ab is the required height of the uh, cylinder which is R. Now, uh, since this is a, a triangle which is similar, OAC is similar to OBD uh, uh, by angle angle congruency, A congruency, because angle O is common and OAC and OBD are each 90 degrees. So, we can say that uh, this implies that uh, triangle OAC is congruent to triangle OBD. Uh, OBD. So this means that uh, we are going to say by AA similarity, uh, by AA congruency. So if they are congruent, uh, I'm sorry, uh, they are similar, uh, we use the incorrect signs, they are similar by AA similarity. So if they are similar, then the uh, corresponding uh, sides, the ratio of the corresponding sides must be equal. So we are going to say that uh, OA over OB, OA over OB, must be equal to AC over BD. This means that OA is nothing but A8 minus H <clears throat> over OB is nothing but 8 and AC is R and BD is 3. So from here, if we do a cross multiplication, we have 3 times 8 minus H is equal to 8R. This means that uh, 8 times 3 is 24, 24 minus 3 H is equal to 8 R, which means that the value of R from here is 1 over 8 times 24 minus 3 H. And uh, we need to now find the volume of the cylinder in terms of height. So this is pretty much easy now because the volume of the cylinder is nothing but pi R square H. And we already have the value of R in terms of H from here. So all we got to do is re uh, substituted. So it's 1 over 8 times 24 minus 3 H whole square times H. So uh, 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 we can take 3 as a common factor and uh, this becomes 3 times uh, 8 minus H whole square. Uh, it's a whole square like this whole square times H. So 3 square is 9, 8 square is 64. 8 square is 64, uh, 3 square is 9, 8 square is 64, and this is 8 minus h whole square times h. So this is the required uh, uh, expression for the volume of the cylinder. Thank you.